Hi, welcome to Danny on the go. I'm Danny. In this video, I'm going to show you the places I visited in Auckland, New Zealand when I have one full day layover at this city. I was in South Island of New Zealand in the past one week and we were having a full day here before I make my way back to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. If you haven't watched my South Island video, please feel free to click on the link above. I begin from taking a public bus outside the Auckland International Airport and head to the suburban of Auckland, the Mount Eden. With around 1 hour 30 minutes, I reach to the Mount Eden village center. From the village center to the entrance will need about 50 minutes walk. I will make a short hike to the peak of Mount Eden where it is an inactive volcano. It has proper road for people to drive up and also walking trail on the road shoulder. Mount Eden is the highest volcano in Auckland standing at 196 meters tall. Upon reaching the top of the mountain, there is a large, well-preserved crater with some 50 meters deep. It's really windy and refreshing after a long hike up here. This huge crater you see here is a combination of three volcanoes crater which was seen last erupted since 15,000 years ago. Local Maori people treat Mount Eden as a very sacred place to them and no one including visitors like us are allowed to enter into the crater. While one can take as many photos as you can and there is a walking trail around the crater where one can walk around this crater. Meanwhile, at this tallest mountain in Auckland, one can view the panorama city of Auckland. It's cloudy day on my visit, but still be able to see the skyline with the majestic sky tower there where I'm going to visit later. On the peak of the mountain, there's a resting place and I will take a break for a while before heading to the city centre which takes about 30 minutes drive by public bus. The public bus arrive at the Wyadout Harbour of Auckland at the Britomart Transport Station and from here I will do my walking tour. I begin to walk to the downtown ferry terminal on the Quay Street to Wyadab Basin and back to Queen Street before ending my tour on the Auckland Sky Tower. I start walking to the Quay Street and from here I will see on my left is the business district where most offices of buildings are and on my right is the harbour. In this harbour is where the downtown ferry terminal is located where most of the tour crews will disembark here. Along this street, I'm able to see some street performance and also some promotions from the nearby cafes where I have got a free donut. I slowly walk to the wire duck where there are many yachts parked around here. Auckland is also known as the city of sales where they have sailing Grand Prix going on here annually. It starts to rain and I have to get shelter at the nearby cafe. Here I have ice cream and wait the rain to stop before moving on. Next, I head to Queen Street. This is the most populated street in Auckland where one can find locals and tourists wandering around. There are hotels, souvenir shops, restaurants, shopping malls and offices on both sides of the street. Here one can do the last minute shopping if needed. I slowly stroll along and move towards to the junction of Victoria Street where the iconic Auckland Sky Tower located. Auckland Sky Tower is the tallest tower in the Southern Hemisphere in the world, standing at 328 meters tall. I will pay a visit by getting the ticket at the lower ground floor where there is a lift taking me up all the way to the observation deck of this tower. The fee is 37 New Zealand dollars per adult. The leaf even has a glass bottom where one can see the leaf moving up from the ground. Mm -hmm. 
I begin walking out at level 51 at the observation deck. Here, one can view the 360 degrees of Auckland city without anything blocking. Certain places do have glass on the floor where one can see directly to the ground from this 186 meters high deck. It's cloudy as it's after rain, so here I can see I'm above the clouds on certain place. Next, I move to the sky deck on level 60 where one can sit and marvel at this amazing view of the city in a higher level. I will sit and wait for the time to come before I take a bus back to the airport to board my flight back home. Hope you enjoy my video and please do subscribe my channel as it means a lot to me. Till then, and I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye!